what's up youtube friends family associates and subscribers how are you guys this evening um not sure if you guys saw my community post but i went into walgreens just to get the body armor drinks i was looking for the coconut drinks because you know that's supposed to be helping with my um the flow of my breast milk um but they didn't have that one the coconut flavor they had the strawberry banana and the mango and something else like three different flavors but I walk in, I see a friend, she's at the register with a buggy full of stuff. And I'm like, I hope you're using coupons. What are you doing? She was like, no, they just had a sale. And I'm like, what sale? But she was too busy, like, into her transaction, watching the register. And she asked the guy, wait a minute, what did that ring up for? So the conversation kind of ended. And I was just like, all right, girl, I'll talk to you later. And so I walked down the aisle trying to head to go get the crest and, you know, the Oral-B and the Listerine and stuff like that. Then I see an end cap full of pull-ups diapers all this like baby stuff and i'm looking at the prices and i'm like are you kidding me so i'm not sure if this is just at my store because i know a lot of times when they have these sales it's not at every walgreens but i want to just uh i can't talk i wanted to just show you guys anyway um that particular store closed at 10 i thought it was 12 and the guy came over and let me know they were closing in a few minutes when I was picking out the crest, you know, to do that deal, getting the points back. But it's the other store down the street that closed at midnight. So it kind of confused me. I forgot that one always closed the hour earlier because they're back at their regular times now. So um, I'm just going to show you the stuff that I got. I got these Pampers Easy Ups. I put in the community post pull-ups, but I did still get pull-ups. But that was before I saw these. And after I posted, I was like, wait a minute. Pampers don't have pull-ups. They have Easy Ups and huggies have pull-ups but same difference whatever um but it was like perfect timing because i buy a pack of these like every week for um baby soleil you know she's three now she wears underwear but um with everything being so busy lately she's been wearing a lot of easy ups and she also wears un well i said she wears underwear but um she also wears these easy ups during the day now because we've been so busy so if we're in the car or you know with the new baby and everything we don't have to worry about her wetting herself and trying to go clean herself up and plus I'm not letting her get out the car to use any public restroom um, let alone you know before she couldn't use any public restrooms and especially now with this COVID thing okay so this was the perfect time and it's her sizes size 2, 3 some of them are 3T but um she's you know babies get taller but their butt don't really get bigger so that's why when i see like meek or short mom or something um buying diapers um normally it's meek buying them on her video and i always say get a size four or five you know when you find out people are having babies don't get a size newborn or a size one or two i mean they will appreciate it either way because diapers are expensive but you can you you're gonna come home with diapers like i came home with one pack of newborn diapers but for my baby that's a totally different situation because she was a preemie and she's so tiny so the preemie diapers were already a little baggy on her and the newborns are truly big but for a normal size baby um i always wanted like sizes four or fives because if they're still in diapers by the time they're one and two they can still wear those size four and five diapers because they're just getting taller like i said their bottom isn't getting bigger but um let me get back into this and show you guys what i got you already saw the easy ups and pull ups and this pack right here they only had one pack of these honest diapers i would have gotten more this was a size three um i have never tried this brand so this was a perfect time to get these these were like a dollar and something uh, Maya told me to grab this. This is all dented up, but that's okay. It's baby dove lotion. And um, I've gotten this before, but I can't remember where. And I also got the knockoff one, the, the Dollar General um, bottle that looks like this of the baby lotion. But I got the dove lotion. I don't know if I got it in a dumpster dive or what, because I know I would not pay full price for that, especially something I haven't tried before. I can say that I actually like. Um... I got these pacifiers for baby Sarai. Uh, I know a lot of babies like the, um, is it the Nook or Nuke pacifiers? And the ones they, they get from the hospital. That may be the brand for the hospital one. 
and they don't really like the regular ones but they were cheap so I just got them just in case I lose that when I have something to work with but um oh my battery is going dead but um I actually meant to go get some more of those the ones that they give you in the hospital at the store the other day when I got the bottles because we have a coupon for um the pacifiers and the bottles and I got this this is uh Medi Frida, I guess it's to um, give them their medicine, so it's like a little pacifier thingy, and um, they have the medicine thing that you can squirt the medicine in because they're gonna automatically suck when you put it in their mouth. So that's a, um, a little nice medicine dispenser right there. Um, my kids had already put up all the food, so um, I don't have that picture here in the video. So I'm gonna just show you these. I got two four five no i actually got six of these but there's only five here six of these um quaker chewy thingies oh my god guys they had a great deal on the food and um this was the deal that i got i kind of screwed this one up i did get the four thousand points back for buying two crest um toothpaste but i wanted a toothbrush but i wanted a lower out of pocket so i got the 2.99 toothpaste and the toothbrushes were 4.99 i believe they may have been on sale for 3.99 but i believe they're 4.99 so that's why i didn't get three of these because that would have been a little under 15 dollars like 14 dollars and 97 cents i believe um so i was aiming to get the two dollar register reward i believe it it was tagged no no, no. i wanted the points the four thousand points were buying two but I wanted my $7 off coupon to come off, but it did not come off with the toothbrush and this. But you know, the store just gave me the points anyway. These are priced at $2.99, and we have a $2 off digital for these. When I was at the other Walgreens um, last night, the one that closed at midnight, they didn't have any more of these. They had a lot of the $4.99 ones and the ones that were $8.99, but they didn't have any more of these. But I found these, and this is the 2, 4, 6, 8, the 8 pack. And like I said, they're $2.99 and we have a $2 off digital coupon for these, making those just $0.99. Cent. So that's a great deal because I wanted to try these. Now, let me show you guys. Okay, see, there's the receipt for the um, Oral-B. It was actually $4.29 for the toothbrush. And you see $2.99 for the um, toothpaste. Um, and I got two of those, two at $2.99. $2.99 for the Listerine tabs. Um, they manually put in the $7 off coupon. I thought they gave me the points for it, but they manually put in the $7 off coupon, which a lot of them say they can't do. You see it right there. They did. It did not come off. I promise you. He said he was just going to manually enter it, and I saw him do that. But the $2 off digital coupon did come off for the Listerine um, ready tabs. And so my total was $4.26 for um that and you can see the balance right there the closing balance I got 4,000 points back for buying two of those so that was basically free four dollars and 26 cents um, and I probably paid with points let's see try not to show my info no I didn't and it was 519 um, with tax so I I did not use points I paid the 519 and I got 4,000 points back so it's like I paid a dollar for um, all of those items let me hurry because my phone is like on 10% and show you my receipts. This is the one with the Honest Diapers. You see they were $1.19. And that's those right there. The Dove Baby Lotion was $1.87. And you can see the regular price here. $7.49. $11.99 for the diapers. Pampers. Easy Ups. I got three at $3.24 a piece. So three of them came up to $9.72. That's for these right here, this pack. Okay? And the regular price is $12.99 for one. So I paid less for three whole packs than the price of one. $9.72. And if they weren't on sale, I would have paid $12.99 for one. Um, the Pampers Easy Ups, the Jumbo. I got two at $3.24. So that was $6.48. And that's for those right there. I believe that's, yeah, that's the jumbo. I only got two of those. And um, those were regularly $12.99 a piece. And these items right here, they had to manually put them in 
I'm going to show you those in a second. And those, well, those are the um, the medicine dispenser, the pacifier. And I also got this humidifier, guys. Look at that. That was on the top shelf. I almost missed it. But I just grabbed it. It didn't have a price on it. It wasn't tagged. But it was with all of this stuff that was 75% off. And some stuff um, bring up 90% off. As you can see, the Honest Diapers right there. $11.99, $119. Okay, so I got this humidifier, which couldn't have come at a better time. You guys know I just had a baby um, 18 days ago. So, yeah, this, this couldn't have came at a better time. And I have a toddler, so this was awesome. But when they were ringing it up, it was saying item not found. So they had to um, get their phone calculated, you know, 75% off the regular price. They scanned it on their phone to see the regular price and then took 75% off of that. And when it came to the last two products, the guy just, he was like, you know what, I'm going to just charge you a dollar. And, um, well, that one, then I was like, well, you might as well just charge me a dollar for the pacifiers, too. Because he put this in for a dollar. <clears throat> and I said, I wish you would have charged me a dollar for the humidifier. But that's fine. He charged me $13.37 $13 for the humidifier. The regular price was $49.99. Okay? $49.99. And so he did something. He told me to put in another number. Then he had total and something printed out. So these uh, the little coupon things printed out. And then, oh, not the coupon thing. The thing that shows you the sales of the week. This printed out. And then a coupon for $5 off always um, pads printed out. And I asked him, I said, well, can you just scan this and see if it'll scan? Because I had a medicine one before that said $3 off your next purchase on this particular medication and it scanned so when i told him that he was like oh he gave it back to me he said i know for sure that's not going to scan because it's for something else you don't have that and i was like trust me i think it will it scanned so that's where you see that manufacturer coupon right there it was five dollars off always and hey it's at your discretion don't judge me because i did this i needed a lower out of pocket i'm trying to save every dime i can they ain't losing no money so you know hey it scanned five dollars off so my subtotal was $32.87. I did use a point booster, um, but the, we were, since I was having trouble with my digitals and everything, I went on ahead and used points. And I know um, because I used all the points, I, I actually used $20 in points because with tax, it came up to, um, I think, 30 It was some odd number. 35 $35. So you can't use 30,000 in points. So I had to use $20 in points, which is um, 20,000 points, which is equivalent to $20. And I paid the $15 out of pocket because I wanted to get my points back. But at this time, I was like, oh yeah, he's just going to give them to me anyway. But if I was using that um, six off 20, I would have had to have $20 in coupons. So that is how you can use points and still get points back you guys i know a lot of people don't think you can do it on a spin deal but you can it's just kind of difficult to explain but not really difficult to explain <laughs> so um if i had twenty dollars in coupons like just say to make it easy five dollars off for these huggies five dollars off for these pampers five dollars off for these pampers five dollars off for these pampers right and i use all of those coupons that's twenty dollars they consider coupons cash so if i would have gave them four five dollar off coupons for all of these pull-ups right here i could have used the rest and, and redeemed points the other 15 um dollars but you can't do 15 dollars so ten dollars i would have been able to redeem ten thousand points and still got my points back from that spend 20 or spend 30 get six thousand points it was actually a spend 30 get six thousand not spend 20 so that's how you can do it. You just have to have um, meet that threshold to whatever the booster says. If it says spend 20, you have to spend $20 in some type of way, whether it's cash or um, coupons. Okay? I hope it's so, it's like really confusing. I'm going to have to do it one day on camera to show you guys that it actually works. But either, neither here or there, he um, gave me the points back, actually gave me 10,000 points back um, right there. And that was my closing balance, 82,680 points. So that's equivalent to $82. So I'm trying to get my points back up at least to over $100 because that really helps. Um, 
to less than your out of pocket and not to spend money at all at Walgreens. And I try to get things that's going to give me points back. Like, if I'm not buying something that says, hey, when you buy two Pampers Easy Outs, we'll give you 10,000 points. They actually have a deal right now when you spend $30 on Pampers, you get 10,000 points. But by these being on sale for $3, that wasn't $30 worth. But, um, so that's why I always look for boosters. And sometimes they're on the account. Like, when we got the food, I forgot I had a, um... A 3 out of 15 booster. Spend 15, get 3,000 points. And Maya was at the other register and did that transaction for me. Transaction for me. So she got um, 3,000 points back for that one. I'm trying to find it. Um, it's not on here. Oh, it's on this receipt. See, this is all the food. Hopefully my phone doesn't die. But you can see um, I got the Lance Crackers 3 at 37 cents. All this food was super cheap. I grabbed those little nasty noodles just because they were nine cent. Um, we don't eat noodles as much. Every now and then we will, but when we do, we get the chicken flavor. So that they only had the beef left. I don't know if I'm the only one like that. Don't like the beef noodles. I used to like the shrimp when I was when I was little, the shrimp flavor, but I don't like that anymore. I barely like the chicken. I just really don't like noodles. I have to be really starving to eat them. Um, we got some kind of bars some healthy bars two at 44 cents uh the Belvita peanut butter sandwich my daughter picked those out regular price 449 got them for a dollar and 12 cents there's the Quaker that I just showed you right here these and I only got them because my boyfriend likes the chocolate chip ones but there's only two of those in there and then oatmeal raisin peanut butter chocolate chip uh, two s'mores ill 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 I may eat one of the chocolate chips right now he's just gonna have to be mad but um, there's six at 94 cents I got those for 94 cents a piece the regular price was three dollars and 79 cents a piece great deal I got some goldfish for um, baby Soleil two at 62 cents a piece they said regular price was um, $2.49, but that may have been the regular uh, the sales price before it dropped down to $0.62 cent because goldfish are way more than that. At least I think so. The other goldfish, Pepperidge Farms, <clears throat> I think that one had extra cheese. Maya put that in the cart for her. Chocolate chip cookies I got. It was the Nice brand, which is the Walgreens brand, for $0.62. Cents. The Skippy Bites, I only saw one of those and I never tried them. So I got them. They look like little balls peanut butter balls and then my daughter just threw the olives in there because she wanted those Keebler um, fudge cookies 99 cents regular 3.99 and more of those oh those are the cup noodles for 19 cents <clears throat> Cheez-Its 82 cents and I told her I'm like oh you taking that back but I'm gonna let her keep it this was on the shelf but that's why you guys need to watch the register it says 3.99 so um yeah that's that's other stuff right there but that was not on sale somebody had put that Velveeta um chicken alfredo over there and i got my body armor for 6.99 and you see where the um booster came off that i had clipped on the app coupon 15 dollars plus purchase that's that's because i spent 15 dollars or more i got 3,000 points back so that's just showing you that it came off and it applied and then my little $1 coupon came out for the body armor, which that's all I went there for. Literally all I went there for. So my sub total was $30.85 for all of those food and snack items. That was an awesome deal, you guys. That was an awesome, awesome deal. So $30, that's fine. And if you got EBT or food stamps, you're winning even more. So that is my, that's my little haul, you guys, from Walgreens. I just really had to show you guys this, and I posted it really quick on my community tab because I'm like, oh, I hope they see this. Maybe they can run out if they need any of this stuff um, before their store closes. So that's why I couldn't do a video because it's going to take longer to um, record the video and upload it and all of that stuff. But like I said, I'm not sure if this is at every Walgreens because this could be just because this store was trying to get rid of, rid of items or any anything they could be closing down it could be different stuff but a lot of times um <clears throat> sorry when you see stuff like 75 percent off it's going to hit 90 percent real soon 
and I got the rest of the pull-ups and diapers they had so I don't know if they're gonna restock and have more for this price but they had way more stuff guys I couldn't take a picture of everything they had the little leggings they had stockings and they had a lot of stuff like 49 cents and but I just got the stuff I needed this time and the milk that um I got I'm gonna try to insert the pictures in here the milk that I saw I mean I didn't get um they didn't have my baby's brand but I'm like oh maybe I should have still got that milk I could have probably given it to someone it was two dollars and four dollars for um all of that baby formula I was like oh my god it was just an awesome deal so we're gonna figure out how to hook this up and get this going I still haven't hooked up the other humidifier that I got for 90% off last year from Walgreens so but now that we got the baby here we're gonna figure out how to do this three-in-one humidifier diffuser night light yeah we're gonna figure this out thank you guys so much please subscribe if you haven't already please give the video a thumbs up meaning like it dislike it if you don't like it comment below and engage with me and if you have any questions ask me and i will answer them to the best of my ability please tell a friend to tell a friend about shade with the receipts and please remember y'all watch those ads okay please watch those ads and share 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 if you dare honey and i will see you guys on the next video i love you thank you all for the support i really really truly appreciate it you guys have a great night toodles